Hey guys, this is Mark from Western Maine Homes. Uh, today we're going to do um, what's called a trailer in iMovie. You know, when you um, when you go out and hire a photographer or a videographer, um, you know, they can do some nice things uh, for you uh, to put on social media, but you know, they won't do like a coming soon, or they won't do um, you know, if you're going to have an open house, you can. You know, you do a little trailer for an open house. Let me see if I can find you one I did last summer. Uh, where'd it go? <clears throat> right here. So I had an open house. Uh, this is a home in Castle Rock. And um, when you'll find out when I go through the uh, selection process for the, uh, the trailer, you've got all kinds of choices. Uh, to select from. This is one and it's called, um, you know, it's kind of like a James Bond thing. So it's called I Spy. And I turned it into a uh, real estate. I Spy and Open House. Kind of like a James Bond thing. And I did the circle <coughs> pose out to make it look like James Bond will be appearing in the background. So you can see I got four, 543 people. Um, 66 engagements <clears throat> so this actually sold um, from an open house uh, we had to do I think like three different open houses several West and Maine agents helped out on that so really appreciate that um, turns out one of uh, a lady showed up and um, contacted their agent they did have an agent but it was she saw it because of the open house um, so anyway, we're gonna let's get right into it and let's let's get to um, iMovie. I'm gonna launch on my so you double click on there. I already have it open, so it's over here. Click on create, so you've got a selection of either the movie or the trailer. I'm gonna select the trailer. You can see all the different um, different selections. You've got, there's the I Spy one. <clears throat> so you'll, you'll just click on these and, um, <coughs> excuse me, I got a little cough today. Um, you can see there's different types of formats and the music comes with it. So, you know, the, like on the last movie, um, you had to select the, the movie and the titles and all that kind of stuff. This comes in the package. So that's, there's one right there. I use that one quite a bit for coming soon. I use this one as well. <clears throat> Some of the other ones are, you know, depends on what kind of style you want. I've used this one before. It's kind of a real action packed. So it's fast moving. Um, um, that's a fun one. I did one in um, Whittier a couple years ago. And that seems to get a lot, quite a bit of reaction. <clears throat> so let's just just do this one. I like this one a lot. I just did a coming soon um, at 3536 Navajo, which is going on the market this week. Um, so take a look at that. It's on our Facebook page, Sue and Mark at Western Maine Homes. So that's the one I like. So you find the one you want, highlight it, and then go down here and hit create. Okay, just like last time, you can import your media either here or here. So let's go here this time. Let's go find your pictures. And here, <clears throat> I've got them labeled already the trailer training movie. <clears throat> okay, so all the pictures imported up here, and then when you scroll across here, you can see with the pictures on the right hand side. And um, so we're going to be moving our pictures down here um, to the storyboard. So here's the storyboard. <clears throat> and then here are your titles that are already in there. Your font's already in there. Everything's already in there. So it's going to be a pretty quick one. And then also right here is your shot list. So if you're out, you can do, um, you can make some videos yourself. Remember turning your camera or your iPhone sideways when doing that. <clears throat> so you've got, like, see the here, it's 1.2 seconds. 
This next clip is 3.7 seconds, then 2.9. But you don't necessarily need to do a video outside or even a video of the home itself. You can just um, put in these pictures into the, uh, into the storyboard or the shot list, and then you can use the Ken Burns effect like we talked about last time. So let's go back to the outline. I mean, you can change all these things. So you can call this um, you know, 3536 Navajo Unit 103. And then <clears throat> here's where I put the studio name. So when at the very beginning, um, when it comes up, then you'll satisfy identifying the brokerage. So. Uh, and then right here, you'll see these two little arrows right here. You can actually change these. So there's all different types of uh, settings that you can do. So let's go to Street Lamp and see what that looks like. You can see it's, um, it'll, it'll play differently in the beginning. You can do Galaxy. That's kind of fun. Um, what's the one? I like the snowy mountain peak sometimes. That's kind of fun, especially being in Colorado. So let's just go back to the one that it came with, but you can change those. Just remember that. And then here are the credits that come up at the end of the end of the movie. So you can just have fun with that. Um, I put our dog Sydney in there and you know, just put a couple of things in there that you like to put up. Um, so here's our storyboard, and then you just go start selecting which photos you want. Um, if you want, of course, you usually want to start off with uh, the main picture. You can click and drag that, or right now you see that plus sign is comes up. You can just hit click, click that, and it'll go to the next um, next slot, next available slot. So let's go to a kitchen picture. Go to a living room and kitchen. There's a dining. Go to the fireplace. <clears throat> and again, you see these um, pictures are in orange, uh, orange line at the very bottom. That means they have already been used, so you don't want to use the same picture twice. Let's go back and get another kitchen. Now let's go find the master. Is the master in there? Where is the master bedroom? <clears throat> there we go, right there. You're going to find that. The master bath. This one's really nice. You see it's got the tub and the shower. Really like that feature. And then, um, let's see, what do we got left? We've got six more pictures left. Um, let's go find the other office slash bedroom um, and then um, let's just start putting in some some rooftop pictures because the rooftop is spectacular we've got them all <clears throat> and if you wanted to delete any of these you just highlight it and then hit the delete button and then um, let's say, oh, we needed to put the garage in there. So then hit that. Now you've got the garage in there. And then, <clears throat> so you see that it comes with these preset of things from the shot list and the storyboard. So you can see I've got West and Main Homes there at the beginning. And then right here, you just highlight that, click on that. And you can just put <clears throat> the, uh, you know, whatever you'd like that's going to be describing the next few pictures below that. So 3536 Navajo is what we just have coming soon. And hit enter. And there you go. So that saved that. And then you say spectacular um, dining or living room. Whatever you want to put there. So you do that for all of them down through here. And then that's it. You see how quick that was? I mean, when you're doing the other part, the, the really long 
the long video it takes quite a bit so I mean it looks <clears throat> looks pretty good and you're going to impress your clients and you really didn't have to spend too much time on it so let's go back and let's make it a look um, a little bit uh, more professional so you can click on here so you can see it's 2.7 seconds well it's just gonna <clears throat> when you play the video it's just going to be um, a still photo and it's not going to move at all so let's get our cursor over here and then let's hit play button or the space bar See, this, this is um, I'm not doing this at all this is just the way it comes so I hit the space bar to pause it so you can see these these goes pretty quick see 0 0.9 0 0.9 0 0.9 so I'm not going to use the Ken Burns effect on any of these that are really short where it just goes bam, 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 bam. I'm not going to even bother with those. The only ones I'm going to do the Ken Burns effect is when we've got a clip that's fairly long. So like this 4.3 seconds right here, we're going to go up and hit this blue box right here. And we've got the Ken Burns effect. So we're going to put that, and you can change these like we did before. You can change these if you want to focus in on something. So if you wanted to start right here, and then you wanted to zoom out, maybe off to the side, you can do that. So just hit enter, and then let's right here at the very beginning, go up, hit the blue box, Ken Burns. So at this one, let's start off. And let's go from left to right. There we go. It's just going to be a little bit of left to right. Uh, so let's see how that works out. See, it's moving left to right. And then you can see here it's playing right here. Those are the ones that are in there. And then I did the Ken Burns effect on the next one. And another one is still right here. So I would click on each one of these. Click on each one of these and install the Ken Burns effect. So Ken Burns. So you can see right here, it's got its ending right here. And it's starting outside and zooming in. So what if we wanted to reverse that? We've got a little reverse button right here. Okay, so now you know it's starting in the middle. And it's, and it's going to pan outwards. So it's a quick little feature there that I like. So then if you wanted to really zoom in, you just click and drag this right here. We could go right in on this nice kitchen, European cabinets, soft clothes hinges. You know, that's probably what I'd put in uh, this description here. Uh, quartz countertops, hardwood floors, that kind of thing. So let's see how that looks. Let's go back over here, click here, hit the space bar and start playing again. And then we're coming up in that kitchen. Awesome. Okay, so you're pretty much, um, you're done. Um, if you want to go through and do, like I said, the Ken Burns effect. And if you want to see it in full screen mode, you can do it here or watch it two or three times. Make sure you haven't misspelled anything. Okay, um, so here's the beginning. All right, so if, if you've got everything the way you want it, then you're going to go up here, this little button right here. You click on that. So it's already got it labeled. If you wanted to change this, you could. It'll take that many characters. And this is just for your library. It's not going to show up anywhere. So, okay. So then we just hit next. And then it's going to start downloading. So I've got it right here. I'm going to put it in there with my client's name and then it's going to start working over here. Now the last time we had a, a, a corruption problem and it was because I figured it out that the uh, the two videos that I did in the park and one um, at the tennis courts they had become corrupted. Um, 
I had actually made a copy of those, and so those those were prepped. So as soon as I took those two um, videos out, it uploaded fine. So we're almost done here because that's a pretty short uh, little video. Just wait for that to do that. Uh-huh, share successfully. That's it, okay. So then you can just go to your Facebook page. Um, go to your Facebook page and create a new video. You can upload it right in, it's an MP4 file. So just upload it straight into that. Uh, you can also upload it into uh, your Instagram. Yeah, if it's more than uh, 59 seconds, it has to be a minute or more, then you can upload it to IGTV. So uh, good luck with that, guys, um, and have fun. The, the trailers are one of my favorite things to do. Thanks for joining. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.